Hello, today we're going to take a quick look at the Amazon Show. The Amazon Show is an Alexa integrated speaker with a tablet type screen at the top. It's quite a chunky device, but that means it's not going to fall over at all. It's very sturdy. Power cable in the back. There's nothing else around the back, nothing on either side. And you get controls on the top for volume up, volume down, and also the mute button for when you don't want her to be listening in. When you press that, you'll also see a little red light confirming it's in mute mode. The screen is really great for seeing your upcoming appointments and you can easily add to them via voice command. Add to the calendar. Okay, what day and time? Today, half past two. And what's the name of the event? Review the Amazon show. I'll schedule review the Amazon show today at 2.30pm, okay? Okay. Okay, I've added that. This will synchronise with your phone calendar if you've set it up correctly and will appear on your phone as well as on the show's screen and you can very easily scroll up and down to view your upcoming appointments. By default it'll show some random pictures in the background but if you use Prime Photos you can set this up to show those as well. You've got a range of options, you can use this with Bluetooth, it can suggest things to try, you can adjust the sounds. If you go to Home Screen and Backgrounds You'll see the bottom option is Prime Photos. You'll need to have uploaded some and you can then select either albums or all photos. I've set up an album specifically for the Echo Show, so Echo Show Photos. Returning to the home screen, you'll then see your photos in the background. The screen's also good for showing videos, specifically Amazon Prime videos. Show Amazon Prime videos. Here's what I found. Once it's loaded up, you can scroll through the videos either using your voice to say play number one or you can touch the screen and scroll across as well. Typically, it will show you things that have been watched recently and you can also do a search if you're looking for something in particular. The little screen is actually really good. I've been using this in the kitchen to watch videos while I'm preparing food. Keep in mind that at the time of review you are restricted, this won't play YouTube videos. And when you ask, Alexa says, Google does not currently support YouTube on Echo Show. As with other Amazon devices that have Alexa built in, this can stream music from Amazon Music and Spotify. It's really nice to see the screen used with Amazon Music selections. When you ask it to play a popular song that it has the lyrics to, you'll see the lyrics in the background. So it pops up with the title, and in a second, there's the lyrics. If it doesn't happen to have the lyrics built in, you'll just see the album art only. You won't be able to have a little karaoke party. It's pretty good at showing you some things. Show me a penguin. Penguins are a group of aquatic, flightless birds. But it's pretty bad at showing other things. For example, asking for a map of London came back with a map of your current location and no actual map. If you have multiple devices, these can be used together in some really interesting ways. For example, calling each other. Call the kitchen echo. It's home. The show's capable of video it's calling, home. but you will need another show in order to activate that, but you can still use the calling feature and voice only. You can also set up a multi-room music group. This is really good. If you've got a few of these devices, head to the app, head to the group section, connect them together. So I've got the Echo and the Show connected up, and when you play music, it will play out of both speakers at the same time. Alexa, show my Kindle books. I had hoped to be able to view books on the show, so be able to view recipes, for example, like you would on an iPad, but instead it reads it out to you. Two, food storage containers to store and organise all your tasty meals. However, if you install day. certain skills, you can enhance the functionality of this. So I've installed the Recipedia skill, and that allows you to view recipes on the show. Welcome back. You had previously chosen an American pancakes recipe. This works slightly better than using an iPad as the screen stays on all the time. It gives you very clear instructions and you can use your voice to, to flick to the next instructions. To move between steps, say next step, previous step or repeat. This is a big advantage over using an iPad as it means you don't have to touch the screen at all. You can just use your voice to move on. 
I've got this in the kitchen and I'm finding it quite useful. It's a little bit clunky, so you are going to need desk space. I like the fact that it can be a digital photo frame and you can view your pictures. I also like being able to watch the videos on here, but it does still feel like it's missing a killer app. Especially given that the cost is much higher than the other Amazon products, I'd really hope that in time the software will develop to make the screen a must-have bit of gadgetry. If you've enjoyed this video, please subscribe. I hope you found the Shaw review useful. Thanks for watching.